Good evening. My name is Neil Bubke, and I'm the director of music and fine arts here at the United Methodist Church of Whitefish Bay. Tonight, we're proud to present one of our members of the congregation, professional flutist Marie Sander, and her cohort, Anne Lebotsky. Marie has long been active in Milwaukee music circles, performing as a substitute flutist with the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra, the Milwaukee Chamber Orchestra, and the Milwaukee Ballet Orchestra. She's an original member of Present Music, one of the leading contemporary music groups in the United States. She performed with the ensemble in Japan, Turkey, China, as well as throughout the United States. Marie was a featured soloist for the John Downey Music Festival in London, performing on flute, alto flute, and bass flute. She's been a guest artist on Wisconsin Public Radio and commissioned and recorded pieces for flute. Marie has been an active recitalist and has taught at Alverno College, the Wisconsin Conservatory of Music, and Concordia University, in addition to working in other private studios. With her additional stay-at-home time, she enjoys jigsaw puzzles, FaceTime with family, catching up on old movies, and cheering for the Packers. Ann Lobotsky is a Milwaukee native who holds both Bachelor of Fine Arts and Masters of Music degrees in harp performance. Her teachers include Dennis Kelly, Alice Chalifou, and Jean Henderson. She continued to study at the Salzedo Harp Colony in Camden, Maine. On occasion, Anne travels to Canada where she studies with famed harpist Judy Lohman. In case you can't tell yet, we're dealing with two very heavy-hitting musicians tonight. Anne's professional associations include many years as a substitute and second harpist for the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra, the principal harpist for the Milwaukee Ballet Orchestra, and performances with the Skylight Theater, the Festival City Symphony, Present Music, the Florentine Opera, and the Chicago Land Pops. She's toured nationally as part of a harp and flute duo for Allied Concert Services. One of their venues, Carnegie Hall, another, the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. Her recordings, Daughter of the Stars and All is, All is Bright, have been released to popular acclaim. I'd like to welcome Anne Lobotsky and Marie Sander. Thank you for being here.
that we'd like to do for you is I saw three ships and a piece that we hadn't known called Aaron Boat Song. Um, it is uh, about the ma supposedly the Magi in the 12th century going to visit Cologne with the gifts. So this is a really nice combination. The air and boat song is sort of Scottish, Irish, English, traditional. Thank you. 
such a pleasure to be here tonight, and um, I want you to know that under this mask, I'm smiling for all I'm worth at the <laughs> warm applause for our very limited audience here. Um, the pieces that we're playing tonight are largely uh, arranged by a husband and wife duo, Ernie and Becky Brock, who are music teachers in Panama City. And they started gigging around and did these arrangements for their engagements. And they were of such high quality that people were encouraging them to publish these arrangements. And um, sadly, Becky died in 2011, but she's left behind her legacy of these wonderful pieces that will be done over and over again. And as you could tell from that arrangement, uh, the combination of using a Christmas carol and some Celtic music, uh, you know, it, they're just so clever and inventive. And I'm sure you'll enjoy listening to them as much as we enjoy playing them. The next two pieces that we're going to do are a traditional French carol from the 19th century, Elaine, And then we'll follow that with um, We Three Kings, which was a Christmas carol that was written in the 1850s. And uh, I think you would approve of this very exotic Middle Eastern flavored arrangement that the Brocks have put together.
We're going to play two carols for you next. The first one is the Cherry Tree Carol. Um, it's actually very old and uh, has lots of, it's become sort of a folk tradition. So there are many versions of it, lyrics and so on and tunes. It's sort of Appalachia feel and it basically is speaking of Mary and Joseph traveling and they go by an orchard and talking about picking the cherries and, and why. It's, a, it's very interesting and many recordings have been made of it. That's the first one. The second that we're doing is Pata Pan and uh, that was written for, it, it's about um, two children, a flutist and a drummer. Anne is going to be the drum and she's going to use the harp in a way you probably haven't seen it used. She'll be tapping on it and she is the drum. And these little boy, uh, their children, um, are happy that it's Christmas. So it's a, a very happy Christmas tune, Pat a Pan.
if you notice some fancy footwork going on there, um, the harpist has to change the foot pedals that are at the bottom of the instrument um, before every piece to adjust the key signatures. And if you ever get a chance to be up close to a harp, there are seven pedals on the base of the harp, one for every note of the scale, and each pedal has three positions, a top position, which is flat, the middle, which is natural, and then the bottom uh, notches for sharps. So if you see that um, during the concert, that's what I'm doing, changing pitches. Uh, the next two pieces we are going to do, uh, we're going to do a slight departure. This is not an arrangement by the Brocks, um, and it's more of a popular tune. Uh, the piece is Walking in the Air, and it was a song written by Howard Blake for the 1982 uh, animated film, The Snowman. And this song forms the centerpiece of The Snowman. Um, the story relates a fleeting adventure of a young boy and a snowman who's come to life. And in the second part of the story, the boy and the snowman fly to the North Pole, and walking in the air is the theme for that journey. We'll continue with the medley of Good King Wenceslas and Ding Dong Merrily on High. Uh, Good King Wenceslas is a Christmas carol that is um, based on the life of the historical Saint Wenceslas. And it tells the story of a Bohemian king going on a journey and braving a harsh winter weather to give alms to a poor peasant on the feast of St. Stephen. And during the journey, his page is about to give up the struggle against the cold weather, but he's able to continue by following the king's footprints step by step. Uh, then uh, that's also blended in with Ding Dong Merrily on High. And I was quite surprised when I was researching this to discover that this tune first appeared as a dance tune as far back as the 16th century. Um, and the lyrics for the uh, tune as we know it nowadays was composed by an English composer, George Ratcliffe Woodward, uh, in the 19th century. And then the carol was actually first published in 1924, so it's um, relatively new, less than a century old.
The next English carol that we're doing is The Holly and the Ivy. And um, since medieval times, holly has been a Christian reference. And now it is a symbol of Christmas. So the holly and the ivy. The next double that we're doing is a Ukrainian bell carol, which was written by a Ukrainian composer in 1914. And God rest ye merry gentlemen, which dates way back to about the 16th century and is even mentioned in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol.
Our last uh, arrangement by the Brocks, Ernie and Becky, is a medley of four carols, and the title is Angels, because oddly enough, each of the four carols has got the word angel in the title. It includes the angels and the shepherds, hark the herald angels sing, angels from the realms of glory, and angels we have heard on high.
Although Neil gave our big bios at the front, I forgot to mention that my husband Bob and I have been members of the church since about 1980 and have been participating in the music program, which is wonderful, and we so appreciate how we can give during this season when we can't all get out. Um, and Anne and I have been playing together since college, and we are not only uh, musician friends, we've traveled together, we got to go to Carnegie and Kennedy Center together, and uh, she played for the weddings of both of our children, our son and daughter, so it's uh, been delightful. We're going to keep it up. Oh, oh yeah, the last piece. Um, it wouldn't be right to not end a season with some kind of wintry, uh, or start a season with some kind of wintry piece. Uh, one of the most famous pieces is usually done by an orchestra. It was written in 1948 by Leroy Anderson. But we're going to do our own orchestral version, flute and harp, sleigh ride. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marie and Anne. And thank you to all of you at home who joined us tonight. 
If you are inspired by these two great performers, I encourage you to share with your friends and family that they too can view this concert on the United Methodist Church of Whitefish Bay's YouTube page. It will be available for viewing tomorrow afternoon and it will continue to be left up there through the holiday season. This Friday is the final concert in our fall early winter series. And again, it features all music of the Christmas season, performed by two sopranos who sing in our chancel choir, April Sorensen and Tabitha Stege. We hope to see you this Friday night at seven o'clock. Take care and be safe.